वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर दैट इज पैरल इन पैरल आउट पी आई पी ओ सो इफ यू रिमेंबर द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट आई हैव टोल्ड यू देर इट इज अ रजिस्टर वेयर द इनपुट वुड ऑल्सो बी पैरल फॉर्म द डेटा वुड बी गिवन इन द पैरल फॉर्म एंड द डेटा वुड बी टेकन आउट ऑल्सो इन द पैरल फॉर्म एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली वी आर अगेन हैविंग अ डाइग्राम where i have taken four flip flops and uh, how it is different you, you can see here the input d not d1 d2 and d3 it is given parallelly as well as the output q not q1 q2 and q3 is given parallelly so it means that if you want to store a data in the register in the form of suppose 1010 1, then can you tell me how many clock pulses will be required over here and you can see here suppose this is our clock and uh, the clock we are following here is uh, edge triggering and there is no bubble so it is a positive edge triggered so we will note down 0 to 1 transitions now if your data is 1010 that you want to store what you have to simply do just put this value here 1010 okay because you want q3 as 1 so my q3 is here only on this side so i have i have put the values 1010 1, now uh, since since it is a d flip flop since it is a d flip flop so if your input is 0 then output is also 0 if your input is 1 output is also 1 provided that clock pulse is 1 if your clock pulse is 0 it will always act as a memory that we already know and if we assume that initially all the values were 0 so if you have to plot q not q1 q not q1 q2 and q3 over here so what you need to do is simply before the arrival of the first clock pulse you have to keep your input ready it means this is your first clock pulse so within this first uh, first clock pulse only all the data would be transferred so these many clock pulses are not required so i will show you directly with one clock pulse as soon as your clock pulse is one because you are able to put all the data independently so your d not is zero you can see it here also your d1 must be one your q2 must be zero and your q3 must be one so it must be one once your clock pulse will be arrived you can see similarly the data would be transferred as it was so you can check out q3 is 1 q0 is q2 is 0 q1 is 1 and q0 is 0 so within one clock pulse the data that is being stored in the registers is 1010 okay so it is very simple in uh, parallel in parallel out register Uh, it needs only one clock pulse to load the data into the registers and it needs only one clock pulse to move the data outside the registers at the output so as far as parallel in parallel out is concerned it is the fastest shift register that we can have it is simply because it requires only one clock pulse while as you have already seen if it is siso it needs n clock pulses uh, to store the data in the flip flop and it needs 2n minus 1 uh, clock pulses to get the data at the output while as in sipo we need n clock pulses to store the data in the flip flop and we need n clock pulses to get the data at the output but as far as pipo is concerned it needs only one clock pulse to load the data in the flip flop and it needs only one clock pulse to get the data at the output so pipo is the fastest one but then there is one disadvantage also as you can see here the number of wirings that is required is large you need four number of wires at the input also you need four number of wires at the output also provided that you are doing it for four bits if you are doing for eight bits then you would need eight uh, wires here eight wires here so this type of system that is pipo is not feasible if your distance is very large 
So, it is application uh, based while as even if SISO contains large number of clock pulses, but this is very useful if the distance is large. If the distance is large then we will prefer SISO rather than PIPO because the number of cables the, uh, or you can say the number of wires required here are very huge. So, that means it is a costly system while as in SISO since the number of wires that are required is only single. So, if we can say this is a cheaper system. So, this is all about this PIPO. This is one assignment problem for uh, the students. I hope you would be able to answer this in case you are having some doubts you can ask me. In the next video we will be uh, talking about the last shift just left that is PISO. So, stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. God bless you all and thank you.